Ladies and gentlemen, another month has passed, which means a new Visual Studio Code release is out. And you're wondering, what features are in it? Well, that is why I am Brian Clark, and you are watching the release highlights video for August 2019. Let's go check out some of the features in it. Many times when reviewing changes to your code before committing it to source, you may find you've removed something that you'd actually like to keep or move to another location. If so, you can quickly revert those changes or copy the contents of it so that you can move it elsewhere. You'll need to be viewing the inline diff editor, as you can see here, and then hover your mouse over the deleted text to see the action's light bulb. Click on it and choose an option that best works for you. Being able to search for exactly what you're looking to find is crucial to navigating your code and project efficiently. The Find feature via Control or Command F supports multi-line text to narrow in on what you're trying to locate. This can be done by pressing Control Enter and your cursor will move to a new line where you can continue to add text you're looking to find. The bottom panel received an update to its behavior such that it can now be maximized to fill the editor instead of just a larger portion of it. This is helpful as many times when you're doing some tasks within the bottom panel, you want your sole focus on that and not have what's in the editor distracting you. If you'd like it to return to its original size, simply click the arrow icon once more and you'll be back to viewing your open files again. While navigating up or down through text within an open file, you may want more visibility as to what text you're approaching while scrolling. Take a look at the setting scroll off and change its value based on the number of lines ahead of the cursor you'd like to see. Once it's updated, you'll notice now that you can more clearly see the context of your current location in the file while scrolling. Clicking on links can be dangerous, and unless you like living life on the edge, it'd be nice to have some protection from unintentionally activating one. VS Code has you covered here. When you click on an outgoing link, it will prompt you to confirm where you're about to go. It also offers an option to configure trusted domains that you define so you won't be prompted for them moving forward. YouTube, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so that you get more content like this. Also, what was your favorite feature in this release? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks again. I'll see you next time. Happy coding, everyone.